I'm in Jevle, a city in Sweden, about 100 miles north of Stockholm. And every year they have a Christmas tradition. Build an enormous goat out of straw and put it in the town square. It is called the Jevle goat. There is a second Christmas tradition in Jevle, burning the goat down. It's not like Guy Fawkes Night in Britain or Burning Man in California, where something is built to be burned down. Burning this down is arson. It is completely illegal, and genuinely, the people who make the giant straw goat do not want their giant straw goat to be burned down. Giant straw goats are expensive. It's just that in the 50 years that a 10 meter high, mostly unprotected goat made of extremely flammable straw has been put up here, the goat has only survived 12 times. Usually it's burned down. In 1976 it was hit by a car, in 1979 it was burned down before it even made it here. In 1988 you could place a bet on whether the goat would burn down, or at least you could, until the goat burned down. In 2001 an American tourist burned it down and when he was arrested he said that his friends had told him that burning the goat was an entirely legal tradition. He got a couple of weeks in jail, didn't get his cigarette lighter back, and uh, left Sweden without paying a large fine. In 2005, vandals dressed as Santa Claus and gingerbread men fired a burning arrow at the goat and burned it down. In 2006, the city fireproofed the goat. It burned down. In 2009, there were webcams set up to spot vandals. Those cameras were taken offline with a denial of service attack just before the goat burned down. In 2011, they sprayed the goat with water to form a protective coat of ice. It burned down. It's massive, and it is made of tinder. It is really, really easy to burn down this goat. Now, the local fire brigade are only two minutes away, and sometimes they win. Uh, in 2014, despite three arson attempts, the goat did survive. And now, it is 2016, uh, the goat was put up just a few days ago, and as I record this, it's still there. All it takes to create a tradition like this is the same thing happening for a few years in a row. This goat wouldn't be famous if it didn't burn down, I wouldn't be here. This would just be a, a small local display. But every year, someone takes the risk of a fine and a criminal record and time in jail to try and burn down someone else's hard work, probably because they're drunk when they do it. And that strange, in the shadows battle, that almost sitcom-like plot, gets the world interested and sends a few tourists to a fairly obscure Swedish city. Place your bets. Uh, quick update, uh, I'm back in London, just landed at Heathrow Airport, literally uh, a few hours after filming that, the goat has already been burnt to the ground. <laughs>